All right, I'm on hole number nine of the 2020 Winter Major. I'm in Tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. I am trying to qualify today, so let's go check out hole number nine. All right. With my massive extra mile six and all of its massive curl, um, in order to get out into here without using any overpower, I have to bring out a power five ball. And with the top spin that I have, I it puts me a little close out here. It would be... You know, I've got plenty of room over here to the left, but I don't have any curl on this club. And so I have to hope that I can get out here and not get, if I hit a great to the left, I'm going to end up stuck in this rough. Um, and I don't have a lot of room on the right. It's one of those things where you need to hit that shot perfect to set yourself up so that you can start off on the other side with your big dog and if you end up short and you don't bring a big dog you're in trouble so it's kind of a kind of a catch-22 you gotta you'd like to bring a, your viper or something so that you can roll it up there a little bit better ball guide but if you do end up in trouble you're in big big trouble and i have just enough of those to finish this round all right I need two clubs and one ball, and that's it. If I have to bring out anything other than an extra mile and that big dog, I'm in big, big, big trouble. And evidently we can't load any data, downloading data. Yep, here we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it, Playdemic. Maybe they can do it. Maybe we can't. All right. We're just going to sit here and wait. I'll put on the elevator music. It's really funny. Elevator music is like songs from the 30s and 40s that they, they've they taken the words out. And it's just the music. And what, 100 years from now, we're going to be listening to ACDC will be elevator music. <laughs> Come on. What is the deal? All right. Evidently, evidently, Playdemic does not want to. Uh, Golf Clash doesn't want to load. Let's see if we can just reload the game and see if we get a better, better, better look at it. Maybe. I know every single tournament they come out with the tournament stuff and it gets a little, gets a little glitchy. The splash screen when you get connected is taking a long time to load up. What's funny about this game is you can get in one of those castle building games and you can be out in a in a kingdom that's got 400 people in it. And there's 100 people fighting and you don't seem to be get, you don't seem to get any lag or any, you know, it seems to work out fine, but here it's just you and one other person and it's laggy. And it's this is the deal. Okay, come on. Come on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stuck on 100. Stuck on 100. Tommy's doing a live stream. Come on. Hello. McFly. Let's see. Maybe. All right. I guess we were able to get up there. I have. Okay. Let's just go out there and play it. Let's see if we uh, get something. It's got my image messed up. That's all right. It's probably one of those deals where it's. Uh, I have my accounts secured with phone, email, and Facebook, and I try not to log into Facebook often. I'm, I'm sick of the stuff flashing up here on the screen, letting me know when a friend comes into play while I'm out on the course. And so I try not to log into Facebook one-on-one -on -one player. If I'm just dinking around, I'll log into Facebook and stuff. If we're doing friendlies, I'll log into Facebook. But I've tried to stop logging into Facebook when I'm playing in tournaments. Okay. All right. It's just going to be a glitchy day. I've had several glitch issues here today. This is the deal. I mean, you can try and be a purist and go, well, I'm going to play with a white ball and hey, 
then that's fine. You can. But Playdemic comes out with these bigger balls because they set their courses up so that you'll have to use them. It's part of, I mean, think about it from their perspective. They're not going to make all these holes so that you can play them and get max score with a white ball. That's why they sell bigger balls. And as a player, you just have to deal with it. I mean, that's part of the deal. All right, so the wind's going to push me forward five miles an hour, which is about two rings out into that area. It's going to push me forward, so I'm going to let the wind do its thing. And put on max curl and really try and hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. And hopefully it will stop before it gets to that rough out there. I tried to set it up a little bit more to the right to give me a little bit more room, but that's the deal. Damn. Now, leaving the wind in, that's if you watch my videos for a long time, and I'm always telling you, if you leave the wind in on some of these shots and you let the wind do its thing, you're fine. I've taken that shot several times this week, and the wind has been around 4, 4.2, and I was just a little short of the rough. But with a five mile an hour wind, that little teeny bit extra, that 0 0.8 is what pushes pushes you out there. Um, I think the way I'm going to do that hole is I'm going to leave in four and anything over four I'm going to take out. Because now I am screwed. And I that, that shot right there just screwed my whole round. I was on track for a minus 12. And now I'm in big, 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 big trouble. Because if I had my upper developed account, I could get up right now with my Nirvana. But with, with what I have right here, I'm not going to be able to get up. And I am... All day long, it's been connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. This game is really starting to piss me off. I'm going to lay it up here and put myself into a good club. I'm not going to press the issue. I'm not going to try and pick up every single yard. I'm going to put it back in the fairway and give myself a shot to recover. Here we go. This is what it's been like all day. Connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. I have max bars. I'm sitting six feet from my router. I'm looking at my computer. I have max connection right now. And we're in an area that has fiber optic connection. So we've got really good connection because my wife works from the house. And... And it doesn't give me this stuff in anything else that I do. Only in Golf Clash do I get this laggy stuff. Where am I at in my club? I'm at minimum club, which is 3.5 per ring. Okay. Off a little to the right. Let's go right at it. It's 3.5 per ring. That's about a one ring pull. I don't think I pulled it quite enough there. Hitting it perfect. I have no idea how. The needle was all over the spot, all over the place, a little short. Dropped the shot on hole number nine. You work the whole round to do that stuff and then drop a shot on hole number nine. I will say it's a miracle that I got to hole number nine with a minus 10, with a shot at picking up a minus 12. Just from all of the lag issues that I've had. I'm going to play on my phone. I'm going to play for a while on my phone and see if I'm getting the same kind of stuff. I'm going to determine whether or not it's my device or if it's uh, just Playdemic's BS. All right. That was hole number nine.
of the 2020 winter major. Okay. Yeah. Now this right here is not my device and this is not my issue. This is Playdemic. All right. These issues are really starting to uh, frustrate me because it's totally affecting my game. It's a, it's throwing my shot stuff off and it's like my perfect timing, my timing. Um, it's not my, it's not just me. It's the way that the, it, it's interacting and I'm going to play on my phone for a while and see if I'm getting the same kind of issues. And if I am, I, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to have to do here. If it's not my devices and it's the game, um, you know, I mean, what are my options? All right. That was hole number nine of the 2020 winter major and Tuesday's qualifying round in the Ricky division. That is not the score I was looking for. My goal coming in was minus 13. That's my ultimate goal. Um, at a minimum, I need to be shooting a minus 12 and I was on track right there for the minus 12 and dropped that shot on the last hole. And that the drive shot was my fault. I should have, uh, I should have been cognizant of that wind. You can't, you can't have in the, up to this point we've seen yesterday, I saw a 4.2 wind. And when we talk about that rough, I was just a little short. That's why I set myself up a little bit more to the right to open it up so I could run a little bit farther forward. But today I had a 5.0 wind and that little 0 0.08, while that doesn't seem like it's a lot, it's the different be difference between landing here and landing right here in the rough. And with lower developed clubs, you cannot play from the rough. You, you just can't do it. There's, it's hard to recover when you have lower developed clubs from the rough. So you have to stay in the fairway. So in this situation right here, from this point forward, I'm, it's going to be somewhere between three and four win. I'm going to leave in. So if I have a four, two win, I'm going to take out 1.2. If I have a five, I'm going to take out two and I'm going to leave something in this neighborhood. I would rather be short here in the fairway and deal with that on my next shot than to be long in the rough. All right. That was hole number nine. And I will catch you guys in the opening round. Thanks for watching.